my name is Mike Hanrahan. Uh, most of you will never have heard of me before, but I'm no stranger to Milwaukee Fest. In fact, I was there a hundred years ago. Uh, at the early days of the Milwaukee Fest, I was there with a band called Stockton's Wing. And we created a bit of a fuss at the festival, so much so that we ended up touring in America for a number of years afterwards on the success of our trip to Milwaukee. I have a special place in my heart for Milwaukee and for the people who run the festival. And when Patrick rang me and said, would I like to do this segment for the festival this year? I thought, oh, heck yes. I spent 10 years as a professional cook in the middle of my career. I went down to Ballymanoo Cookery School in Cork and was trained by the great Darina Allen. And I ended up working with her in the school as a teacher. And very memorable times there were too. I ran quite a few kitchens over the 10 years I spent in the industry, including one memorable time with my friend and comedian and fantastic actor, Pat Short. You might have heard of him. We had a lot of fun cooking local produce and creating a bit of a, a food buzz in East Cork in a village called Castle Martyr. I still continue to perform and Stockton's Wing are back on a live album out this year. But I've got some new songs also that I wrote during uh, the lockdown period when we were here. And I'm going to sing one or two of those for you as well in the middle just to, to keep you interested, <laughs> I suppose. So some some lamb, Stas. Yeah. This is Stas, my my butcher, my local butcher. He's also a great drummer. So we. So I think I get some of the chops and some of the diced lamb for the Irish stew for all my American friends. Lovely. Say hello to America there. Hey America. We are blessed with so many great producers around us. I'm sure if you go within striking distance of your home. You're going to find producers, people who work really hard to give us the best of vegetables and meat and you name it, herbs as well. So I'd urge you strongly to go and buy the real stuff. Got all my ingredients ready here, uh, all pretty much prepped, all chopped nicely. Got some of my herbs and my bay leaf, got my stock, I've got my lamb, the, the the jigger chop and the piece in the, the neck. The spot isn't peeled yet because it discolors, so does the parcel. So the oil is kind of heating up. I'm going to get my, my onions in there. Get them, you can hear that sizzle. That's doing fine. I'm going to put in the leeks in there as well because leeks are nice. Um, they're kind of sweet. Some people don't like leeks. I, I, I think it's kind of nice. These, they're kind of coming on nicely. You don't want to get them burned, you know. I don't like to burn them, but it, now is the time just to put in a bit of the, the lamb and get, get a bit of colour and some people like to put uh, flour in the lamb, but I, I don't. It's very important to always keep washing your hands in the kitchen. I just put in the celery in there and I'm going to put the carrots in there. I, I love the carrots. I love the mix of, of celery, carrot and... Um, celery, carrot and onion. It's a real a vegetarian one at least, using lots of, I was a vegetarian for a while, as I keep telling people, then I got cured. Only joking, only joking. I still love cooking vegetarian food. This is where we're at at the moment. Everything is kind of just, we're all kind of getting to know each other. They're, they've been sitting around the kitchen for the last half an hour, looking at each other, and they're now getting to have a bit of crack together. And uh, they love the, the joy of cooking. I, I'm gonna put in the bay leaf in there. That takes a while to work. We're back and very important to clean and go when you're in the kitchen. Uh, so I'm gonna add in the, the parsnips, which I've peeled and, and chopped. That's in there as well. And I know you can't smell it at home, but actually it's smelling really gorgeous. Then I get my stock. The stock is, this is a really good quality chicken stock. You can use vegetarian stock if you like. It's kind of good too. Veggie stock is really good. Um, you can make your own stock. And you can make your own lamb stock as well. Uh, it's 
you just boil a whole heap of bones with some veg and then you, you for a few hours and then you strain it and let it cool down and when the lamb stock has cooled down uh, all the kind of fatty bits on top that you don't really want they stay on top and they solidify and you just whip those away and then you've got really beautiful fresh lamb stock from lamb bones it's the same principle with, with uh, chicken stock just get a chicken and boil it up with loads of nice veg so look at that we're, we're actually we're working now I'm going to throw all the herbs in these are fresh herbs I love thyme thyme is a really amazing one for this particular stew you can taste it later on uh, you can use a bit of sage if you want uh, with rosemary it's really good all those sturdy um, herbs are really good for this dish so I'm going to let them boil away uh, for uh, half an hour 40 minutes I actually might just sing a song for you uh, in the meantime and then I'm going to go back because the spuds are kind of last to go in the spuds don't go in until um, uh, after about 40 minutes and they're for, they take about 20 minutes because you don't want a really mushy spud you like to have a bit of a, a bite in the spud when you're serving to the table okay so I might sing a song
Charlie's my dog. In fact, Charlie owns this house. And this is his seat normally, so. Look, you're not happy, are you? You're going to say lots of people over in Milwaukee? No, he's not interested. You just want your seat back. So you're welcome back. It's juice at 40 minutes and it's, uh, it's looking really good. It's nearly, nearly there. Everybody is in there, it's all mixing with each other, enjoying each other's company. And of course you like the, my wooden spoon. My mum had five or six wooden spoons. She was a great cook, but she had a great, she had a great way about the wooden spoons. I think she had different gauges. There were the days. The potato absorbs a lot of the salt, so it, you need to check the, the salt. It's a good idea to taste it now, and you get, a, you get an idea. That's really, that's kind of nicely seasoned for me. But I know as the spud comes in, it absorbs all the salt, so you need to probably put a little bit more salt into it. But it's tasting gorgeous. Some people put pearl barley into the, the Irish stew. I don't like it. Um, nothing against it, but I just don't like the, the, the sensation of it. Anyway, I get, get the spuds in. It's actually looking like a real stew now. I'm going to flick in a little bit of salt. Just so I need to kind of bring it back up to a boil a little bit. And then let it settle for 20 minutes on simmer. Charlie there. While the stew is, is cooking away there, I'm going to tell you about my book. There's my book. It's called My Camera and Beautiful Affair, A Journey in Music, Food and Friendship. And just the idea came when I gave up the food industry and went back to music. I really wanted to write a, a book about my journey and, and to try and make sense of what I did in my life, moving from food to music. Uh, and I have an equal passion for both. So I, I wrote this book and, and I went to publishers in, in Dublin, HarperCollins, and they, they went for it straight away, which was really lucky. And then when I had it finished, uh, I went to Charlotte O'Reilly, who's is is an Irish uh, artist who works in Europe, in, in Paris and Amsterdam. Uh, and I got her to do the illustrations. Just got an alarm call there from the from my kitchen alarm. Yeah, see the spots are just beginning to, they're done. They're gonna break and they're gonna give. So I'm just gonna have a quick taste for seasoning. Oh, that, that tastes fine to me. I wish you well with your first stew and I hope it's really good and you make a lot of people happy with your food. I'm going to do one more song before I leave you, all right? So that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed this. And my thanks to Patrick and all at the Milwaukee Fest. Uh, being part of Celtic MKE this year is really, really special. Um, the gigs are, are few and far between, but having this one in my calendar has really given me such a boost. Um, I look forward to getting back over there playing live sometime. I'm going to sing this song for all those involved in creating this amazing festival. A lot of young Irish artists really benefit from the exposure they get at the festival. And, and the guys come over every year and choose a young artists. And I know how much, I know a lot of them in the last few years, and I know how much they appreciate it. But I know more than anybody how much it meant to us as a young band heading out to America uh, and playing at Milwaukee Festival. The amazing audiences and the reaction. So we are eternally grateful to Milwaukee Fest and I am thrilled to be here uh, performing for you. This song is for all you guys. Stay well and stay safe. And if you want to get in touch with me, I'm up on, on Facebook all the time, sometimes too much of the time. 
but I'm there and I'm on Twitter and, and all, all those links are there for you. Uh, meanwhile, here's a song for all of you.